What is going on everybody my name is Mehul and welcome to your 37th AngularJS tutorial in which we'll be looking at custom filters in AngularJS. Now in the very beginning of the series maybe like uh, around tutorial 11 or 12 we looked at um, introduction to filters or something like that the tutorial name was that and in that tutorial what we looked at is the inbuilt filters in AngularJS like you could just convert a string to uppercase and it would work alright okay so we don't have the application set up right now so you know you get the idea how this would work so in angular what you can do is you can create your own functions I'm sorry your own filters as well so let's just create one so in this video tutorial what I'm gonna show you is that how you can convert a number into another base so to do that first of all let's just create some input boxes text and ng model let's bind this with number and input type text ng model um, whatever you say base number and just name um, not name number and double brs and a base here you go and then your number number in base base is now here's what we are gonna do and this would be base number okay so now we are gonna create a filter which would accept this number and I'm just gonna get rid of this sidebar okay so this number and this pipe if you remember starts the filter and here's the filter name we're gonna write some filter name here so let's just name the our filter as base and what additional option would accept is the base number so right now two things are gonna s be sent to the JavaScript by angular and the two things are the number which is by default angular will always send and this base number which we chose to send to our JavaScript code now let's get back to JavaScript now right here let's just quickly create the application module sorry this should be angular and this is main app like that and one thing you have to remember is that even if you are using filters without you know any controller I mean to say that if your code is capable of working without a controller but still you have to include an empty controller for the angular application to work and now to create a filter what we do is we make use of this app which has your angular dot module and filter now this method would just like controller accept two arguments the first one being the name of the filter which is same as this one right here and the second one is the function now this function is merely this function is called whenever this base is you know used in angular and this function would call ev would be called every time by angular whenever the angular's digest function runs so you know your filter would always keep the website content up to date if you are using that all right so here what we made make use of is we return something to this page and what we return is is defined by a function again now we need this function because you know all of the stuff which is sent by your HTML page into this script is contained inside this function so first one is the input and second one is the argument one argument two argument three and the list can go on forever if you wish to but since we have only one argument right now I'll just restrict this to argument one or simply just the base alright so now since we have access to these two values and obviously I want to store the return value of this function somewhere so that I can return value from this function 
to this function and this would return value to here okay now I'm just gonna name this let's say um, something why not and here I want to return something again all right well that was kind of silly joke anyways now first of all since we are getting these two values or these two numbers from HTML we would like to make sure that these are numbers only so to do that what you can do is you can just create two numbers again and uh, or variable sorry and uh, let's just say this is parsed and and this is percent input and 10 and this 10 is to make sure that the number that user is entering is in formatted as a base 10 number because you would have some problems if the user entered a number starting with like 0 or you know all that base 8 or 7 stuff I don't know alright so now since we have number in base 8 base 10 I'm sorry and then we have the base but since we are already making use of that so why not based so based is the parsed version of your base and this one is based in as well so now I wanna check that if is nan parsed or is nan based then I just want to return the input itself otherwise what I want to return is parsed dot to string based now what happens here is when to string method is used on an integer with an argument as a number what happens is this number or this value which is returned this number gets converted into the base provided and is returned as a string so let's just check out our application um, looks good okay so base base number yeah yeah so this should probably work and here's our page okay so let's write our number let's say 1024 why not because that's 2 raised to the power 10 and in base 2 which should be kind of like a million or something so let's just start with base 2 and yeah you see that this kind of looks base 2 if you can read that and in base 3 it looks like 11 0, 1, 22, 1. base 4 looks like this 5 6 7 8 9 10 and there's a limit to which this um, angular js can convert to and here you see that it says me an error range error to string radix argument must be between 2 and 36 so that was the limit I was talking about so like you cannot have a base 1 see it throws an error or you cannot have a base 37 as well you see it throws error so your permitted base conversion is between base 2 to base 36 now let's just restrict that and we just need a couple of more conditions here I just want to say if based is less than or equal to 1 or if based is greater than or equal to 37 then I just want to return the number itself and let's just try again with let's say 100 base 2 looks like this base 3 base 4 5 6 7 8 and if you try with base 1 you see that nothing happens and uh, base 37 how about that see nothing happens so what you can do is you can in your code throw some error here you can return like error I'm just gonna show you error invalid base or you can just split out these conditions and individually check if the number is invalid or the base is invalid I'm just assuming the base to be invalid right now you see and 1 is also error invalid base 2 is not 3 is not 4 is not 5 is not 36 is not 37 it is oh 337 my god 
Alright, so that's how you create a simple custom filter in AngularJS and go ahead and try with your own custom filters and that's pretty much it for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching.